Hello, Poncho fam. It's me, Poncho Libre. And we're here today to do a action figure review. But before we do the action for you review, bleh, sorry, I stuttered, didn't mean to. Before we do the action figure review, I'm going to give a shout out to someone who helped me get this channel started. And his name is Connor, master of the eighth element, Neil. You can look him up on his channel. Run for Your Life Productions. Go see it, and please, please tune in to the Untirely Weekly Show with him and his co-host, Aaron the Fourth Wind Bradkey. Now that we're done with the shout-outs, let's get down to the brass tacks. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. If you like the video, put that like in a chokehold and wrestle it to submission and please leave a comment down below whether you like the channel or you don't I like eh, you know just leave a comment all right let's get into this review and three two and one all right let's get into this review that's right folks it is another Todd McFarlane's McFarlane toys action figure review and we are reviewing today Wonder Woman with the Helmet of Fate. Now, as we get a nice good look at the box, we have a awesome card here, giant card. We have the collectibles, which is looks like a Flash, a Gorilla Grodd, a um, Bizarro, and a Green Lantern. And we have, it looks like to be uh, Nightwing. As we and we got a little bio up here, and we got uh, McFarland Toys logo. As we switch it to the side, this is where the woman of with the Wonder Woman with the helmet of fate comes from. The Batman Last Night on Earth. It is a good comic. I did I did some reading with that, and I really like the comic. It's a kind of Darker comic, but you know I'm into dark comics. Uh, Wonder Woman with the Helmet of Fate. If you guys don't know what the Helmet of Fate is, look it up. It comes from Doctor Fate. Anyway, um, we have the Mick Farren logo. As we switch it around, we have a, a window. The DC Multiverse logo. Nice window. Wonder Woman. As we uh, go to the bottom, you have some legalese, made in China, uh, your barcode, some other little doohickeys here, your winning lotto numbers. Uh, if you win the lottery, I'll take like uh, $5. No, <laughs> just kidding. Alright, as we move up, boom, there is a figure. She is definitely wearing the Helmet of Fate, ages 12. We have, as we go up, the Batman Last Night on Earth. 22 movable parts. Parts. The McFarlane Toys. Whoa! That was crazy, wasn't it? We have the uh, DC Multiverse Wonder Woman. And we look in the packaging... I already see some issues that I'm going to have with this figure. Looks like the sword is kind of warped a little bit. That I can see so far. That's about it. But I'm going to snap my fingers. Get her out of her packaging. Ages 12 and up. Small parts. Don't put them in your mouth. Remember that. Okay. And three, two, one. All right. Yeah, here we go. Let's get into this figure, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to start off by taking a good look at this figure. If we start by the head, you can see the Helmet of Fate. Now, for those that don't know what the Helmet of Fate is, look up Dr. Fate. Um, 
there's some tutorials and lots of foot or you know videos on Doctor Fate and who he is and how he's related to the DC universe. Just look it up. Uh, start with the Helmet of Fate. It looks like um, there's like a definitely it looks like there's like a head under there, but I don't want to push it too much. I don't want to take it off. Um, Maybe like a ball joint attached to the skull up there. Can't really see the face. All you can just see is the helmet. And uh, as we go down, there is the plastic. It's a hard plastic. I, I'm not too... I might have to replace this. It's a hard plastic uh, cape. Um, I'm not too thrilled with that. But you know what? each their own and we move down you can see arms and oh that's gonna be an issue keep going down see that we have the knee pads and the ankles the ankles when I got it out they were kinda all catawonkety and all just all over the place and it was kinda hard to stand her up and we look at the back, you can see that there's like a ponytail, looks like, protruding out of the back. I don't know if that reaches all the back. Let's take, oh yeah, this, this, this cape is not, not going to be my friend because I'm going to have to replace it. It's hard. It's got like a basketball material feel to it. Uh, it's torn at the bottom. The ankles are kind of, doesn't really stand too well with these. Um, with her feet. Alright, let's start this review off how we normally start it. At the feet, it has a, looks like a ball joint to move her ankles around. Um, foot can go up. Oh, it's got a um, pin for some uh, pivot or whatever you want to call that. And it can rock side to side a little bit. Uh, talk about break your, break your ankle. Uh, it can go up, back that far. Same thing with the other leg. You can go up, go down that far. Uh, toe pivots up that way. Going up to the knee. It has two pins in the knee joints to help it bend. We're gonna... Oh, that is, yeah, that's rough. But she can get her knee up there, not quite kick her butt, but because uh, it runs into the boot here, this little right here. Bend it back down. Let's do the other side. See how the other side varies. Because sometimes one side can is more flexible than the other on figures. Yeah, about the same. If I force it, not really. Like this plastic cake gets in the way. So that's kind of. Alright, put it back down. Moving to the waist, uh, it kind of, the, the waist is kind of hindered by this, looks like a overlay, I want to say, hard, it's like a medium plastic, um, no, like, waist rotation, really, um, the legs can go uh, up about that far. Can go back that far. Go out. Not very far out. You guys hear that popping? If you can hear that, I'm not really impressed with it a whole lot. 
Yeah, I can't really go up that far with this one either, this side. Okay, so we move up. There's no waist rotation, really. And going to, or well, torso. No, yeah, waist. And then we move to the torso. Hit that far. That far forward. And let's do that far back. Not really impressive. That. Go to the shoulders. Go up. It's kind of hindered by the cape. You can't do all the way around. And go back down. Yeah, it can't go that far. And go about that far. Can't can't hit a T pose or Y pose. Let's try the other one. Yep, same thing. Gets caught. It's more of like an arrow shaped uh, pose. Yeah, so far it's not going good. Um, as we bring, it has a double pinned elbow. We bring it in. It looks like it's getting caught on this. I got another figure. My Batman Flashpoint has that problem too, where it gets caught on the gauntlet. It doesn't go up all the way. Um, see it has a up down motion for the weapon or item holding hand it looks like it's up goes down no back and forward motion um, put down let's try the other arm see if this the gauntlet runs into that problem Ugh doesn't quite have the problem on this arm goes up all the way that creaking those just like grinding teeth um, the head can go back that far you looking up go down uh, a little bit of tilt, tilt, can go, can go that way, can go that way, that's about it, alright, now I'm going to try to get her to stand, trying to get her to stand last time was a pain in the butt, so try to get her to stand, if not I'll just just, uh, come on. This is, yeah, see, it's not working out. I'm just going to have to get her stand as best as possible. Nope. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay. All right, there we go. There we go. She is standing. Okay. Let's get into... The accessories. She comes with a sword. It is bent. Uh, can you see that? Let's try to focus on. There we go. The sword is bent. I'm gonna have to heat that up and set it under something flat to flatten that out. Uh, it's a good looking sword. Not much paint detail. Um, doesn't even got like a wash to it. Uh, got some good sculpting detail though. Uh, you can see on the hilt it's got a wrap going around it. It's got, it looks like to be stars in the hilt. And the handle's got wraps around it, golden wraps. Um, so yeah. And like I said, it's, it's um, definitely bent. Okay, as we move on. Going to the DC stand. It's your normal DC stand. It came with the Flashpoint Batman. Um, and last but not least, the trading card you get with it. 
Helmet of Fate. It's got, um, it's got uh, Wonder Woman with the Helmet of Fate. A bio on where this figure comes from and uh, Donna, you know, name, height. Wow. Wonder Woman six foot? Huh. Guess I never knew that. Uh, in 185 pounds and the rest of the bio. Yeah. All right. Let's get in the size comparison. Let's move into the size comparison. Okay. First things first. Going to start off here with another McFarland figure. Um, the Mortal Kombat 11 Lord Covenant Spawn. There we go. The helmet, as you can see, if we move the camera up just a tad. Um, as you can see, the helmet makes her a little bit taller than Spawn. And we're moving to the Star Wars Black Series retro card. Um, TIE Fighter Pilot. Yeah, she's definitely taller than the Pilot. As you can tell, the Pilot is a lot shorter than uh, Wonder Woman with the Helmet of Fate. Um, all right, now as we take out these other two, here we go with the trusty, dusty Todd McFarlane's D DC Multiverse Flashpoint Batman. As you can see, the helmet still kind of makes her taller than, technically taller than Thomas Wayne Batman. And we move to the uh, Mafex Batman Hush. One of my favorite figures. I like the art. I like how it's presented. Yeah, she towers over him too. So I would think at least top, the um, McFarland toys are considered a little bit taller. I guess they're like seven inch instead of six, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, let's take them away. Oops, didn't mean to hit that. And before we end on a note, those people are thinking, why don't you put the sword in her hand? See if it fits. Okay, you got it. Um, let's see, this is proven difficult. Oh, there we go. Yeah, the sword goes into her hand. It also can be sheathed into her... Uh, sheaf right here so balance stay stay All right and last but not least everybody's favorite the poop emoji squishy as it definitely towers over the poop emoji squishy all right well that ends this review I want to say thank you, and I want to say please take care of your mental health and have a relaxing day or night depending on where you're at.
Thank you. Sayonara.